Hello everyone, Triplehorn23 here, and today we're going to learn how to install LSPDFR 0.4.6 very fast and to the point, so I'm going to jump right in. All we need is these four files here, Trainer V, LSPDFR Manual Install, Rage Plugin Hook, and Script Hook V. The links will be in the description. I have a community discord where I make videos based on my must-have mods and how to install and use them. Feel free to join the discord. I have help channels if you have any issues with Grand Theft Auto 5 or LSPDFR. The link to the Discord will be in the description, so please join if you would. So the first link you're going to come across is the LSPDFR download. Click that first link, hit download this file, agree and download. And you want the manual install right here, you do not want the setup. Hit download, that will download. Script hook V, hit download and that'll go right to your desktop. Rage plugin hook. Select Grand Theft Auto 5. It should already be there if you click the link in the description. Hit download and Simple Trainer. Download that. Once you have those four files, drag them out to your desktop like this. Next, you want to navigate to your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. If you're through Steam, you can um, right click on a game. I, I use Grand Theft Auto 5 through Rockstar Launcher, but um, you can right click, go to properties, local files, browse local files will bring you right to your directory or uh, you can do the same thing through the Rockstar. Once you find your main directory, you want to make a backup. I have three already, but your main Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to just say Grand Theft Auto 5. It won't have anything else. So right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, hit copy and paste it in here. I've already done it, obviously. And once that finishes, you can go on and go into your main directory like this. And open the Trainer V. Now to install Trainer V, you're going to see these five files right here. All you're going to want is these two right here, the Trainer V.ini and the Trainer V.asi. Select these. Press Control on your keyboard to click on the second one. So it highlights both of these. Drag them into this main directory that we just opened. Once that's done, you can close that out. We're done with this. LSPDFR manual install. You're going to want to select everything in this folder except the licenses. Do not put the license folder in. Drag and drop all this into here. It might take a little bit. This is a big mod. And once that's complete, you can X that out. We're done with that. Rage plugin hook. Open that. You want everything in this folder except SDK and licenses again, so deselect SDK and licenses. Drag this into your main directory. Replace, it's probably going to say 14. Once that's done, you can close that out. Script hook V, go open it and go into the bin folder. And you do not want native trainer because we just put that other trainer in. So select input A and script hook V. Drag those into your main directory. Once you have that done, you are pretty much done. So you can go and double click on this Ridge plugin hook, the application down here, and it's going to make you agree to this, accept that, and you're going to want to hit yes on this. All this is doing is creating a backup. I honestly don't know what the purpose is, because if you created that backup, then you really don't need this, but just hit yes either way. And it's going to open a menu <coughs> like this right here. Now this is really important. You see plugin timeout threshold. Change this one to a six. All this does is makes it where um, it's the time in milliseconds a plugin can block the game. This will obviously make it longer, so your game is less likely to crash. Go to the plugins tab. Click on load these plugins on startup, select LSPD first response, and then hit the middle option to load all plugins on startup, and hit save and launch, and then hit OK. And once you do that, your game is going to launch up, and it will work, LSPDFR will work. If you have any issues, feel free to join the Discord, and I hope you installed LSPDFR.